apart. Her hands were ripped apart. This is the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad. Her hands became harsh, became coarse, became rough, because she would knead the dough, wash the clothing, take care of the home. So she said one day to Ali, go and speak to the Prophet. We've just received the booty. Some servants have come. Go and ask him to send a servant into our house to help us inside the house. Think about this. Daughter of the Prophet Muhammad Booty just arrived. You know what we say to our daughters, don't we? Leave him and just come on. We'll take care of you. Isn't it? That's what we teach our daughters. We were taught in our lives, don't ever return to your home unless there's a serious problem. A woman never leaves a home for the excuses that are presented today inside our society. Ali comes and he expresses his concern. The Prophet Muhammad listens to him. In the evening, he comes to visit both of them. He comes and he sits so close to them. They feel the body heat of the Prophet Muhammad They want to sit up out of respect. He tells them to stay there. He says, don't think I am unaware of what you requested. He could have given it to them, as many servants as they wanted. He could have presented all of the companions to stand there and take care of his household. He said to them, it's better for you every night to say Subhanallah 33 times. Alhamdulillah 33 times. Allahu Akbar 34 times. Yakfikum. That's enough. You don't need these elements of the dunya. And he says, I never gave that up in my life. Never. When I fought, when I struggled, turmoils, calamities, difficulties, I went to sleep saying Subhanallah 33 times. Alhamdulillah 33 times. Allahu Akbar 34 times. You don't need antidepressant tablets to go to sleep. You don't need anything to go to sleep. Indeed, in the dhikr of Allah, do hearts find tranquility and find peace. That's what he told his beloved ones. Find that peace in your remembrance towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He could have offered them the whole of the dunya. Whatever they wanted as a fatherly love. But he taught them that lesson that they would never ever forget. And that lesson goes to all of us as Muslims. That we begin to look at everything around us and fail to understand the best thing that we possess inside our lives is right here inside our hearts. Al Imanu Billahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, Alladi Hadana di Hada. The greatest possession that we all possess is Al Islam inside our hearts. Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to this to Al Islam. If it had guided us, we would have been amongst the straight individuals. That's what he told his companions. That's what he placed inside these individuals.